Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint. Uh, we are playing with some mostly normal... What, where's the tra Oh, there's another lane beyond it. Okay. We are playing with some mostly normal rules today. So we've got um, things like... Um, there's a standard checkpoint system going on. So there are five checkpoints around the city, which I'm given one at a time. And I have to take them in the, in the order they're given to me. And as I, each time I take one, I'll get, be given a new one. And if I manage to take them all, then I win the game. There are a number of hunters scattered around the city as well. Um, some of them are having connection problems, but some of them are also are, are actually are, are actually in the game and uh, and hunting me. And if they manage to kill me, then they win the game. So it's a fairly simple simple thing either way. Now Los Santos is quite a big place, so in order to help them find me, they've got a blip on their map which follows about which follows 400 meters behind where, wherever I am to give them an eye, a rough idea of where I am. And that means it's following the same route. It's going at the same, traveling at the same speed as I am at any given time. So, but it's but it's for about 400 meters behind me on that route. So at the moment, it's probably sort of somewhere off down there on the motorway. So they, they don't know exactly where I am, but they do know that I've stopped, which means they've probably guessed that I've come off the motorway. They don't I'll say they don't they don't know where I'm going or how how I'm trying to get there. But they can they, it gives them a bit of a clue of an area to search, and that seems to be about in about all they need because they do keep managing to catch me which is very upsetting oh, there's, there's one of them in purple there stopping to investigate me by the looks of it I... and yep he's definitely well I give myself away by doing a J turn there so he knows that he now knows that this is me trying and that so that means I now need to start trying to flee and get away before he does something unfortunate to me like shoot me in the, in the face uh, now there's quite a lot of roads around here that's quite good for twisting, winding in and out of as I'm, as I'm doing at the moment. So this might be quite a good place to try and get away. However, if I flee too far and too fast, then that might make it difficult. Ooh, where am I going to land? Okay, I'll take that. That's a, a place. I'd rather be the other way up though. There we go. Has that got me away? I don't see any sign of purple lights or purple cars. So I think that's actually, that's actually got me away from it. That's amazing. That's as um, quicker and easier than I'm used to it being, trying to get away from that, trying to get out of a chase. I'll have to remember that area because that was really, really useful. Now, I am now heading away from the checkpoint that I wanted to get to, um, and I'm in a vehicle that's got a bit beaten up, partly due to Tristan driving into me, and partly due to me um, rolling it down over, off that jump as I, as I did. So, I don't really, so yeah, I want to change vehicles. I also don't want to be here. Let's see if can I, can I, that, that doesn't look like somewhere I can realistically get up. Um, so, I'm going to carry on going this way. And this is going to take me quite a long way away from where I want to be, unfortunately. So, I need to get, I need to come off this motorway and turn right at some point to try and head up towards, the, through, through the hills and get to that crossroads in order to take the checkpoint or something. So, as I say, the, the game has... Um, is, is, is fairly similar to the, the sort of rules we normally play, but we have made one important difference. In the past, we had a rule that the hunters weren't allowed to drive any class of vehicle they hadn't seen the play, play the prey driving. Now there are a few exceptions to that. They, they, had, they have a few starting classes, so they're allowed to use sedans, compacts, and SUVs, um, but they weren't allowed to use sports, coupes, etc., etc. Now, we've changed things around a little bit there now. Are there any cars parked in here? I hope there are. Oh, that's a better car than that. Oh, no, it's not. Um, oh, yes, it is. That's a sports. I don't want to use a sports because, as I shall mention. Um, yeah, so if they're not allowed to use it, they're not allowed to use it. They previously, sorry, try again. Previously, they weren't allowed to use a class of car I hadn't used. They hadn't seen me in. Now, we've removed the rule that says they're not allowed to use them and replaced it with a sort of a vague guideline that it's probably not a good idea to use them because I have an option in my... Um, oh dear, there's a green car. That must be... That is, in fact... Um, oh, loving it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so I, sh I should have taken that sports car. I should have taken just anything while I was bimbling around looking for something to take because I've given myself away now rather obviously because I'm still in the same vehicle I was in before. So that was a bit of a bit of a noob error there. I should, should, have, I should have changed vehicles, but I didn't because... I don't know, mostly because I was looking for something better, looking for something that fitted my criteria, and I hadn't found anything that did. So, yeah, that was a bit a bit dumb. Um, however, we are all still in very, very basic cars, so I don't know if that makes getting away easier or harder. It, may, it, it means the stakes feel slightly lower, which is quite nice. Um, so, see how that goes. But yes, if I see any of them driving coupes, sports cars, anything like that, 
then I can hit a button in the in the in the menu system, and I can blow up any car anyone who's driving a car that they're not really supposed to be driving. Um, so the idea is that I, if I notice one of them driving a car I'm pretty sure they shouldn't be driving, then I can save the explosion for the time when it's going to be most tactically useful. Whoa! That must be one of them in a bus, because buses don't normally drive quite like that. Let's go in here. Oh, they're all trying to turn there, and I think they're having some success. Uh, if I go this... Oh, I shouldn't have gone straight on, because it's going to make me more obvious to them as they come out. Oh, but they haven't come out. Excellent. Right, that means I really, really, really need to change cars now because this is this this is this is silly. Um, I can't. I, I don't want to change cars on a major road because that makes me very vulnerable. And I don't want a sports car. There are just too many criteria that I'm trying to pick sports pick 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 cars based on. <laughs> well, that was a good punt. Um, but that does mean I need to not be here anymore. Let's try and get out of here. Now, what I probably should do is turn off the circle, um, so that uh, turn off the blip. Sorry, so that the hunters no longer know where I am, and that would allow me to get away and and, 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 and get my get my escape done a little bit more effectively. So, let's bring the menu up. Um, in the ability to disable, right, disable the circle. There we go. Let's turn the circle off. Um, so now, I, if there's none of them behind me, then that makes it a little bit safer for me to think about changing cars. So I'm going to carry on up this way a bit further. Um, and go along here and then just start looking out for a suitable vehicle. This will do. Now, I've done the getting out without looking around me first properly thing, which is frequently dangerous, but never mind, I seem to have got away with it this time. So let's turn the circle back on again. Um, because now that means if I've turned the circle off, then the, so the hunters don't know where I am. So it's not fair for me to go for a checkpoint. However, I have managed to get myself a bit closer to the check to the next checkpoint. So that's that's a, that's a good thing, really. Now I'm going to try and sort of vaguely sneak over there. So the the sort of theory is that if I turn the circle off, then I need to give them a bit of a, a bit of a chance to sort of to recover, regroup, get over to wherever I am before I start thinking about taking checkpoints. Um, so I'm, which is why I'm driving fairly slowly at the moment and trying not to be too, um, not not fly around the city wildly too much. So the checkpoint is just up there. It's not too far away. And in the US you can do a right turn on red like this. Although you are supposed to give way, I believe, when you do so. Okay, so now I can go up, I can grab the checkpoint. And then I can try and get out of there. And that's going to be difficult because the problem with the Hills Crossroads checkpoint is that there's... Come on, go a bit faster, thank you is that when you're in the hills there's only a relatively small number of roads and if the hunters know which road you're on it makes it rather difficult to get away so what I'm going to try is handbrake turn here take the checkpoint and head back head back down into the city again rather than heading ooh, or at least heading this way down towards the city rather than what I've, cause what I've done previous times I've gone up to that and then I've turned left or right or occasionally gone straight on and that way you end up disappearing off into the hills and it then takes you forever to get back out of the hills and when the hunters know which road you're following they can in theory get ahead of you and try and block you block you fairly easily and things tend to go badly so instead I'm coming back down this way I need to start doing something a bit more sneaky or a bit more a bit more diff di changing of direction -y. because if I move in a straight line for a long time then they're going to start suspecting that I'm going to carry on in that straight line um, because well, prob balance of probabilities and stuff, really. Um, so, if, so my my best chance of survival is to keep changing direction as much as I possibly can. And the next checkpoint is actually conveniently really, really close. I've not turned off the um, I've not turned off the blip, so I can go straight for it. It's just it's just right there, so I can go and grab it. Uh, now, in the pre while I take doing this, I should of course take take the checkpoint. I need to continue my sort of evasive manoeuvre, so I should probably go in some of these alleyways, given that there's so many of them around here. But actually, going in an alleyway, if they're not suspicious of me, is probably a bad idea, as is running a red light like that, um, because then if they see me going into or coming out of the alleyway, they'll get very, very suspicious. I mean, cars do occasionally go into um, into car parks and alleyways and things, and they, so they also occasionally come out of them. But it's very, very rare. So I think I'm best off trying not trying to sort of be as innocent looking as possible. I think that might have been Mike down there. Um, do I, my abilities do I have? I do have a 
Bourne AI option as well. So I can do that. That gets me a passenger in my car, which makes me look a bit less suspicious, which is nice. Um, because you don't get quite... Often I don't bother to have passengers in my car. But mostly it means if a hunter rams me, there's a reasonable chance the passenger will sh shout out in terror, which makes me look a little bit more like a genuine AI. There's Ed. That's not me, Ed. It's okay. You can... It's a bit of detritus from that uh, SUV there. Let's uh, avoid that. Okay. Hopefully, Ed is not is, is, is too busy with that SUV. That other SUV. Good. Uh, so I think I seem to be okay at the moment. Let's set myself up for a left turn here. That's perfect timing with the green light there. Excellent. So I can come around here. Um, and then what's the best way to approach the checkpoint? I need to be evasive, as I say. So I'm going to go down this way. And just keep sort of going, not in random directions, because I'm definitely, I'm very much heading towards the checkpoint, which is just off to the left now. I'm going to go straight on, actually, to be, mm, or am I? No, I think going left here is probably the better idea. I'm just trying to, trying to um, stick with the, uh, the stick, stick with going for the checkpoints, because I think going for them reasonably quickly is probably a good idea. And there doesn't seem to be, oh, oops. there doesn't seem to be anyone around. He says, just as Mark shoots past on the main road there. Okay. Um, he's heading over that way. So I think if I carry on straight on, let's see, when if I go up onto the, the um, overpass, it's going to... Hmm. The question is, how, how much do I want to weave around in and out of random little bits of terrain in order to try and throw off any hunters who are trying to track me by the blip versus how much do I want to actually just try and, you know, go for the checkpoint? So if I pull a U-turn here like this I and mean, that's going to look very suspicious if there's any hunters around and I should have looked behind me before I did it however it's going to also throw them off a little bit if they see what the the, uh, the blip is doing on the map because it's doing weird and unexpected things now I've got as I say about 400 meters so it's about to do the uh, it's about to do that U-turn that I just did um, when it does that I who knows whether it'll, what sort of clues it'll give them. So, but I'm going to turn right here, and this is going to bring me down now on the approach to the uh, to the next checkpoint. I think is it down? Oh no, it's another it's another road over. That's a shame. Maybe I should have stuck with the tunnels. <laughs> but anyway, square of squares is down there. If I turn left at the bottom of here, then it'll take me over straight to the checkpoint, and I can hopefully grab that one without too much interference. The other possibility is that I could go through the uh, the alleyway over there, but because there's there's Mark again. And Tristan. Okay, I don't like this. There's too many of them around. They both seem to have gone away, though, so that's good. While they're going away, I'm going to run this red light. Oh, it's gone green anyway. Okay. Alright, here's the checkpoint. Let's take this, and I'll turn left again. And, oh, suddenly daytime. Ah, that's really bright. So we have this thing called checkpoint effects in the game, which means that sometimes when I take a checkpoint, there's a roughly 50-50 chance of something weird and unexpected happening. Uh, like that, like it suddenly becoming noon or dawn or whatever time of day it suddenly is. Um, and this is to give a little bit of excitement, interest, randomness, unexpectedness and so on to the, to the games as, we, as we're going along. Keep things, keep things varied interesting. So I'm going to get on the highway here, which is potentially unwise for all of the sort of the... Um, reasons I've mentioned before of going in a straight line for too long and so on and so on but it does allow me to get across the city fairly quickly and if I pull a u-turn like that then I don't know we might see suddenly lots and lots of hunters yeah like that there they, there's there's Mark trying to get find his way onto the highway uh, so I'll keep going this way but it might have t I don't know whether you'll have seen the turn round yet oh no Ed, it looks like I, I, I saw a car flipping or falling or something over there so that looks like the hunters are um, in the vicinity and trying to get on the motorway. Uh, right, what's my best bet along here? So I go faster, stupid car. Now I think my best bet is to drop off the. What is that truck doing? It looks like it's trying to take the drop off that I was planning to take, like this. Um, which is an odd thing for an AI to do, and it's not in one of the hunter colours, so it shouldn't be a hunter. It's more or less in my colour, but I'm not a hunter, so, you know, it shouldn't be me. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I'm, yes, I'm pretty sure I'm not one of the hunters at the moment. So that, that, that was rather, that was very, very odd. I'm, I'm, I don't expect AI vehicles to, well, to do that. We've got, you know, we've got a green light here. Okay, I'm just going to carry on following this radius. In here. I'll take this. 
and I shall get away from this checkpoint a little bit. I can sneak over into this car park and change cars now because this one's now a bit damaged from dropping off the um, the bridge earlier. So I don't I don't want to keep it. I'd also like something a little bit better. So let's go for this this coupe. Now, okay, well, no, not that one. No, no, that one. The coupe. I'm not escalating things that far. Oh, there's purple over there, and there's light green as well. So they're in the area still, uh, which is not ideal. But I've got a car. It's, the alarm is going off, yes, but oh, let's have an AI as well for this car. Now, I do have a smashed window, but hopefully they won't notice that, and I can now sneak back out again. Okay, peer entrance. That peer entrance is a long way, so I think my best bet at this point... Oh, there's an orange car. That's probably Mike, especially as it's... Yeah, that's Mike. Wait, is he going away? I think he is. Yes, he is. Right, I'm getting, I'm getting out of here. Now, the thing is, that's now damaged the front of my car, which is very rude of him. Do not appreciate that. I wanted to carry on using this car. But I can now try and skedaddle out of this area. And once again, I probably need to change cars. So let's see. Ooh, that was quite nice. That's, no. um, Schwarzer would, would unlock sports cars for them. And I don't really want to do that if I can avoid it. So let's just beans it over here a little bit couple of changes of direction down here and find something else to play with because I don't think I don't think Mike identified me in this car which means they're probably not going to consider coupes worth the risk so even if I change back out of a coupe into something worse I'm probably going to still be safe now I've come across one bridge from here so that means I can probably fairly safely go back up this way and go across this bridge um, probably and find somewhere to change cars over on the other side. Um, I don't know. It's, I am heading directly away from the checkpoint now. That vehicle ahead of me is probably subtle, but also probably terrible. Well, no, it's definitely terrible. It's going to be very, very slow. I'm not going to do very well with that, forgetting it. Um, I mean, it'd probably get me to the pier without any trouble, but then once I get there, I'm going to need to do something. What's this? What is that? Oh, no, that would have done. I think that was a jackal. Oh, well. Never mind. It's gone away now. What are you? Oh, that's a sports car. All right. Since it's the last checkpoint, let's take a sports car. This is dope. Like this. And I've now got... Oh, that, that, there goes purple and I think orange going back over the over the bridge there. So that's good. They're, um, and that's a very yellow truck. That might be Ed as well. So that's lots of the hunters going that way. So what I'm planning to do here is get myself onto the highway like this... It's a little bit of a suspicious way of doing it. If they saw me do that, they'll be on my tail. But I can now get out of here at a reasonable rate. This 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 highway now will take me over towards the um, over to the to the pier area, and hopefully I can grab the um, the the checkpoint without too much difficulty, and then flee because I'm in a sports car. Now it it feels a little bit unfair to just to go over there absolutely flat out. So I'm trying to do sort of AI type motorway speed, sticking with traffic. Also, that means that if they do see me as I'm doing this, they will not know that this car is me. There's a non-zero chance they will just fly past me on the motorway. And I'm sort of hoping they do if, if they if they come this way. Um, alternatively, they might just not come this way at all. But again, I'm doing the sort of the dead straight line all the way across the city, which is kind of the worst thing you can do in this game mode. The other thing is, when I do come off the highway, I'm going to be really, really obvious because I'm going to start doing not highway speeds and they'll see that the blip has slowed down a lot. So, I think I'm, I'm, going, to have to come, I'm going to come off the highway here anyway and then try and filter through the back roads. But I'm going to try and hold highway speed or at least reasonable approximations of highway speed for as long as I can, which is going to be tricky given the, um, the sudden terrain changes. But I think I've not done too badly at that. Right, there we go. And now I think I'll slow down a little bit. Um, approach the checkpoint like this. I don't see any traffic lights, so I'm just going to keep going. Well, there, are, there aren't any traffic lights in my direction. There are for cross traffic. What is that doing? Um, I think that might, be a, that might be a hunter who hasn't recolored their car properly. So I'm going to call shenanigans on that. Um, but, however, I don't think the fact that they were... Um, I don't think the fact that they were um, 
weren't weren't coloured properly is it had anything to do with them catching me. They they they'd have caught me even if they'd been in the right colours. I didn't see them until they rammed into me. So they shouldn't shouldn't have been in in uh, in civvy colours. But I don't think it makes any difference to the actual um, to the game. So I'm going to get back around out, out this way. Oh, okay, purple is still with me. That's slightly surprising because I'm theoretically in a better car and I wasn't hanging around. Although I have to admit, I had started slowing down and thinking about what I wanted to do differently. Um, and top of the list is a different car. Well, top of the list is evasion, actually. And then uh, next on the list is, is a different car. <laughs> How has evasion gone? Looks like evasion has gone quite well. So that's good. That's, that's step one complete. Let's try and get back around this way. Um, and then maybe up here towards golf course. And then I can try and find somewhere to... I don't like changing cars on major roads because it feels dangerous. However, I think this time I might make an exception. Especially as that's a Felzer. And I really like the Felzer. Getting the Felzer. And there's nobody behind me, which is good. We like, we like that. Actually, let's not go this way. Let's go around here and down the alleyway over here. Now, uh, alley, going, as I said earlier, going down alleyways is a bit sus. Um, and if you get spotted coming out of them, then y you can be in trouble. However, it gets you in unexpected places and moves you around quite quickly. So, probably worth it. Okay, so now down here, there's oh, there's Mark. So, try and avoid him. But I do need to go that way. So, and right turn on a red. Hopefully he's going off quickly enough that he won't be anywhere near me. Okay, that's Tristan again. He's going to shoot my tyres out if I'm not careful. He's probably going to shoot me out even if I am careful. I'm trying to weave a bit, but we we'll, don't know how well that's worked. That's worked. Yep, I hear tyre noises. That's not good. Okay, so I need to... Whoa! I need to do something that isn't that. Because that's not... Right, I need to get away from here. Um, what's the best way to do Ooh, I have an idea. What if I go down here? Hope there's nobody behind me. And then abandon the car here somewhere. Oh, that's a harder crate than I thought it was. Turn the lights off. There we go. Get out of the car. Right, so... Now, I'm sort of in the area of that final checkpoint. There is a car park down here. I think I'm free of the chase because they're not near me anymore, so that's, that's okay. So if I come around here to the car park, please be a car. Oh, for, oh, there's a car over there. Okay, there's an issue. That, that'll have to do. From here, okay, that, the problem is with the, um, what's the name, with the blip being 400 metres behind me, it's probably now most of the way onto the pier. So if they see a car coming off the pier, they're going to get very suspicious. Now, I am hope could hope that they think I've come down here and gotten a jet ski. And maybe I should have come down here and got on a jet ski, I don't know. But instead, I'm going to try and come off the pier, grab the checkpoint. And now I think about now, they're going to know, or soon, soonish, they're going to know that I've headed down on, out onto the pier. So this is probably going to cause, yes, that. And, oops. Don't do that. Don't drive on the curb, Lawrence. And that. And that. And oh dear, now I'm now I'm in trouble. Uh, I don't know whether I should take the checkpoint or not. We did implement last week. We implemented a new rule that said the prey is always allowed to, is allowed to take checkpoints as long as they st even if they're in a chase if they stop in them. Um, I don't think that's turned up well. I don't know. I don't know. We haven't we haven't talked about that today, so I don't know if it's actually turned on or not. If we're if we're playing with that rule or not. Um, I think I need to turn the blip off for this. There we go. Oop. <laughs> okay. Struggling with the controls a little bit there. Oop. Phew, he's gone a different way. Right, okay, change car time, change car time, change, 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 change. And I want this one because it's a sports car. And they're all going to be, they all probably know by now that they're allowed to use sports cars. So, I don't want to, oh, sorry, I don't want to use anything less. I'm, I feel quite lucky that I got away in that issue, to be quite honest with you. Uh, so, enable circle again. The other problem is, I think they're all fairly 
aware by now of which checkpoint I'm trying to get. So that means that getting to the um, pier entrance is going to be kind of difficult. Um, there's going to be a lot of... Basically, whenever I head up towards the pier entrance, there's going to be hunters waiting for me. So what I'm going to do is just approach it at speed now, because I haven't, hadn't gone far before I changed cars. So I'm going to come up here, grab that, like that. Now that's slightly cheaty. I, I feel, I don't know, I think because because it's been so difficult getting to the point, getting, um, because they knew, basically knew I was going to, I, that was the checkpoint I was trying to get to, I think I don't feel too guilty about taking it to a, a bit faster than I normally would. Um, so I normally, yeah, normally I would, I try and go through checkpoints at sort of sneaky, sneaky driving speed. But I think on this occasion, I don't feel too guilty about that. We'll see what the hunters say about that. I think it was probably justified. <laughs> they might not agree. We shall we shall see. But I need to, now need to get out of here because we're in what's called the final hunt. And that means I need to prove that I'm not in a chase by getting to more than 500 metres away from the hunters for more than about 20 seconds or something like that. I don't remember the exact numbers. But basically it means I just floor it across the city. Sooner or later, they'll be outside the, um, the safe zone. They will all explode and I will win the game. Alternatively, they, they are actually right behind me chasing me. I can't see them, so I don't think they are, but it's, it is possible. Oh, no, there we go. They've all exploded now, so uh, so that's a, that's, a, that's a win for me. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, en enjoyed the run, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. by the dash end. Yep. Going onto the highway north. By the dash end. I am not in the vehicle equipped for high speed chase. Just, Don't just worry, throwing that out there. Uh, heading south. Uh, SU oh, no. oh, coming off again there at the dash end. SUV, I think. Of, might be a habanero. Uh, going straight across and taking the right. So this is going to go west. Oh, no, he's taking the jump really weirdly so I don't know where he's going to land. On the slip road uh, towards Pillbox Hill I think. I don't currently see him because I didn't land on the same place. I know it's not that slip road, it's the one he's below. He's gone back the other way, gone back the other way. He's come back towards Dash Hunt, he's heading north, assuming this is not you Tristan. He's now highway to, he's now heading west along the east-west highway. Actually, I have absolutely no eyes on this situation right now, for I am in a bus. I am very much relying on being able to be helpful um, when I get into the encounter. <coughs> so the moment, I'm not going to um, be the one who brings him down. I see a car with a missing tail light. That was him. You're missing my house spider? Yeah, I think it's going faster. Approaching colourful car park. Coming off a colourful car park. This blip has overtaken me. Turned right. <laughs> yes, this is me. Into uh, uh, movie studios. And that, my car didn't like that car. Right, I'm a drift around the corner in deep bus. I didn't see where he went there, though. I could easily have turned off. Yeah, he has stopped. Uh, check movie studios. Ah, uh, mo moving again. Uh, did one of you just leave movie studios? Nope. No. Yep, found him. What's your problem? Uh, just turned left out of movie studios north end, uh, then turned right. Behind you, Mark. That one. That yep, one. Yep, yep. Life Invader. Just didn't want to hit Turn you. left. West from Life Invader. North, wherever we are. Um, 
Oh, into an alley. Uh, oh, this is near the tennis courts. This is the tennis courts. Uh, golf course checkpoint. And towards Life Invader checkpoint. There's a chance I will get in front of yes. him. Yep! Oh, <laughs> if you look to your right, you will see me approaching in a bus. <laughs> in front of you, Ed. Uh, last yeah. crossed over. Uh, towards five ways. Ah, uh, anticipate his move. And but I will north east from five ways, then immediately turned right, so he'll be east heading to five ways again. Yes! yes no! <laughs> oh. Stop reversing, Mike! Stop reversing! Movie <laughs> <laughs> Studios. Oh no, alleyway, alleyway. Alleyway, hey, yep. It comes out over here! Yes, he's gone straight over. You know what? I don't think the bus is particularly helpful. No worries. Just heading towards your water in your direction. I need a faster car. What was that thing he was in? I couldn't recognize. Found him. Uh, uh, there's low car parks. The horse Thank statue. You. Heading towards the horse yep. statue. Turn left at the horse statue. The uh, opposite the way the blip just went. He's left, right, head. Yeah. Over here somewhere. Oh no, you wrecked. Going through the police thing here. Yep. Yeah. Heading oh, northeast. Ah, he he's turned the blip off. I don't know where you guys are. I'm tempted to try and find an oracle and use that. <laughs> the problem Hang on, is. If you're using a car that's not allowed, <laughs> why are you going to use a bad one? Because he wouldn't recognise it as being an oracle easily. Remember, he also has the tendency to um, try and summon AIs at the moment. Oh, he did. You're right. Just in time for us to have all got hurtling up that west at high speed. I am um, going to take a risk. This is not an oracle. This is a felon. Yep, took the jump off the highway. How oh, rude. And then, and then straight back up again. Yeah. Checkpoint We're taken right past south. If I detonate, then he's seen me. He's currently stationary. stationary or moving now? Just so moving. Hello? That, your, your trailer's looking like it's having a really rough time there, Ed. Okay, and back over the bridge. Oh, he's trolling at this point. I'll come off Potentially, up, potentially up. found him. Uh, turning right out of multiple car park. If he spots me, then I'm dead. Uh, immediate left towards pier entrance. What's he in? Can't tell. I'm trying to not be too obvious. He says in a smash up thing. It's a. Uh, Which way up here? Uh, he's north of here, heading right outside the pier entrance, right here. Yeah, this one, that guy there, Tristan, this guy here. Heading south from pier entrance. I'm about to detonate. 
Uh, you're not in an orange car. Left at Bergeshop. Oh, true. I climbed in from the passenger side. I'm now in an orange car. <coughs> uh, so you, you, you going onto the highway, it. heading east. I, I'm, I'm waiting to just detonate. He may not actually have realised it. I don't know. Take coming off the highway by um, what is it? Art gallery. Oh, that was lag. I think that's a coupe. Uh, northwest through five ways. That's the horse statue. Um, he's just crashed into the horse statue on my screen. I suspect he's having. Yeah, he's got ins stupid amounts of lag. He was stopped here for a good several seconds. And then teleported, did he? Yeah. I no? found his abandoned course by the abandoned was abandoned car by golf course. Is it a coupe? Let me check. It is a. It's a sports. It's a, it was a Schwarzer, which oh, is why so he didn't detonate me. Sports are allowed. There's a Schwarzer yeah. sports. What's it? Oh, you got it. Uh, yeah, I. Gunshots uh, north and then left up at the end. Ed, where are we? We were near the uh, graveyard. North and left. left. Yeah, graveyard, the ro road below graveyard, if that means anything to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, where then? I don't know, I don't know. What car was it? Uh, um, a Felter. Thank you. I got out of my car to steal his. <laughs> <laughs> He's on pier, it looks like. He's walking, he walked on pier? Yep. Sorry. I may All have right, headed down is. there and parked. Oh, man. I passed a whole bunch of pedestrians. Hey, check that. Thank you. It's acting mega sus. Okay. Where is he? Coming out of pier, heading. Northeast, so straight over. Oh, it's taking too long to turn around. Heading towards movie studios, turning left before movie studios into pedestrianised area. Heading north of pedestrianised only area. And I lost him? Oh, I'm so sorry. Have I ever taken him on the way up? No, I have. I've lost him. I have no idea where he went. He was a red issue. They head south towards the spook sheet. I think beach, is it? Uh, Checkpoint taken. Pier entrance. Yeah. Oh no. Because there's. Yep. Oh, there we go. I couldn't. I wasn't, I wasn't sure what, what rule we're playing for checkpoint taking, whether it was I'm allowed to take them in a chase if I stop in them, but I didn't. we hadn't mentioned that, so I thought I'd better not. But uh, you drove through the last one quite fast, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yes. I felt a little bit guilty about that, but only a little bit, because you blatantly knew which checkpoint I was going for, and therefore I have to push a little bit harder. Yeah. <laughs> I won't chase, though, although I did see you as I went. For Basically, my subconscious just told me that's a hunter because it's uh, moving too fast, and, and it <laughs> took like three seconds to realize, oh, checkpoint taken, oh, 